The Senate bill preserves the estate tax. It doubles the exemption, which is currently five and a half million, while the House bill basically says it would end after 2023. Mike, you were saying that the House is under a lot more pressure to show their constituents that this is a tax reform bill that will make the lives of middle class uh, Americans easier. Well, it's hard to understand what the argument over the estate tax is. It raises so little money. It's a bit of a, a I, I think, um, the Senate is 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 not not uh, trying to make this look less of a bill for the really really wealthy, mm -hmm. but at the same time they're raising the amount that's exempted. I mean, you're going to have almost nobody paying this. Almost no, nobody pays it right now. But it's been a Republican shibboleth for so long that we have to get rid of the estate tax that it's part of their mantra. they, they want to go through with it. You could leave it in, you could take it out, and it's not going to have much of an impact on this bill because the number of people who pay it is so small and the amount they pay is so small. The, the people who pay it are, are on their way to their estate attorneys when they're hit by a bus. Other than that, but, you know, when you look at the charities who, who benefit from the estate tax, there are a lot of really substantial philosophical arguments, not fiscal arguments, but for they made, keeping it. They made one change in the bill this year from previous efforts to get rid of the estate tax, and that is they did not include the step up in basis. In other words, if Barry dies and his uh, portfolio is, is full of stocks, mm -hmm. and he passes those stocks on to his heir, uh, they don't pay any tax on that because the, right. the, the basis is stepped up to the day he dies. Right. And so that is unearned income. That's not That falls outside the this has already been taxed right. uh, part, and previous efforts have taxed that. Uh, and in this one, it leaves it out. So if you have a lot of money, put it into stocks and bonds, and it wouldn't be taxed. So much for that promise that they're going to simplify the tax code oh, so that it can be on one The postcard is gone. I was say, Don't yeah. worry about that. The postcard yeah. is gone. This was actually exactly what I was going to say. Are we simplifying the tax code in any way here? The, the only way to file your taxes on a, on a postcard is to do the classic flat tax, it's pick a number, 18%. Everybody pays 18%. There are no exemptions and really no more accountants anymore. Um, and uh, you could fill out it uh, on, a, on a postcard. But everybody else, there are estate concerns. There are ways to make sure that you're leaving money to your favorite philanthropy, your kids, your grandkids. It's really challenging to imagine that in a complex economy like ours, we're going to grossly oversimplify the tax code. Now, that doesn't mean we should have a million ornaments like a Christmas tree, which is what we've evolved to. We but, have half a million ornaments. But there's a ha happy medium somewhere in between.